Hey guys, Jagus here. This is Jagus Reviews. Alright, so I wanted to take a look at this Xdobo BMTL Boom. So I thought it was bigger originally than it actually is. So this is definitely a direct competitor with the JBL Extreme 3 and 4 and like the Soundcore Boom 2 and some of those kinds of speakers. So I will be putting it up against those size of speakers as quick as possible, but this is going to run you about 115 to 130 depending on the coupon. Now it does have two 3 inch woofers and two 1 inch silk dome tweeters, so not a bad little setup. And then it actually has about 4 inch passive radiator, so decent size. Um, and this thing actually has a really amazing amount of bass. Uh, for this size of speaker, it definitely sounds quite good. I think they actually did a really good job on this one. Some of their other speakers that I've had still are good, sound pretty good, but their EQ was a little off in my opinion. This one is super smoothed out, really good bass, really nice highs. They just did a really solid job on this, so I do want to play some music, kind of give you an idea of what this thing sounds like. But yeah, so far I'm super, super satisfied. Let's go. I ran up a check, I might do it again. Enemies close, have me thinking they're friends. Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end. Keep outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass. Took so many years, I've been swaying for the wins. I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins. I know it's for real, there's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I'll do it again. Up there I accidentally hit one of the songs um so that gives you a good idea this thing actually like I said this thing rocks it sounds really good it's got good sound it's got a really decent amount of bass for its size I'll throw a link in the description if you are interested I'm gonna put it up against a few contenders like I am gonna be getting the boom 2 here shortly I'm still waiting on getting enough money to get the extreme 4 but that will happen at a certain point I do have the W King T uh, D nine dash one, I believe is what it's called, uh, which I did put up against the extreme and like UE Epic Boom and some of those. So 
But for 115 ish dollars, this thing definitely rocks for a smaller mid-sized speaker in that category. Obviously, you get into some of the bigger speakers like the DB Soars, F29 Max, Tribit, Swarmbox Blast, all of those. Those are going to walk all over this. It's just a different size, this different category of speaker, but I love the lights on this. It's got great bass. And all around, I think they actually really honed in on their EQs finally. Sounds really good. But let me know what you guys think, and I'm going to go ahead and make a few more videos here shortly. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.